この後ですね。はい。ここです。やはり見せますね。安定してますね。さあ今度は何をやりますか。お、これは驚きました。急な入りから今度はあの鉄棒のように前転できましたね。後ろ回りですね。はい。本当10センチの上でやってるっていう感じがしないですね。Here's a back handspring right in the middle of the beam. It's very important that her shoulders and hips stay right over the beam. In fact, if They were, and she could almost pull that balance beam over. Line herself up sideways. Watch this. She will do a back handspring into another back handspring to her stomach. <laughs> Just in case you don't believe it. 上面他这种空翻之后能够继续的站稳啊，这是长期的训练的肌肉记忆，还是他的这种其他的他的判断啊？嗯，都有。No time wasted. This performance. All thing is quick to the point and graceful. To Zhang Qingying of the People's Republic of China, this was a very fine performance in qualifying, 14.1. She is the reigning Asian champion on beam. You're absolutely right, Ollie. It was one of the revelations of qualification, and one of the reasons is that she has chosen some unique elements that we don't always see from the Chinese on balance beam. It's a routine that breaks the mold. Confident round off layout to two feet. Switch ring in combination with a back handspring. Straddle and wolf jumps. Switch side. And that was invented by Natalia Yurchenko, a world champion in the 1980s. She was quite well known for that. It's a skill that has really fallen out of fashion, but it might not be after this. It's fascinating, isn't it, how much of our time we spend talking about Yurchenko's on vault, and then <laughs> suddenly we see one on the balance beam for the first time in what feels like an age. In terms of difficulty, she connected that with a switch side leap and a split jump. She might not get credit for the combination, but she will certainly get credit for the element. Double peg dismount. Very useful member of the team, Zhang Qingying. Pensive looks on the face of the uh, British team as the uh, Chinese team will be in receipt of a score of 13.266 for Zhang Qingying.